second column. Quoted the Gemara Rabbasan says it says Lasesu Sapachas. That a person was says a person has gas saruach, says means he's uplifted, ultimately he's gonna become secondary. Sapachas means tofir will become secondary. As he explained, anything that's not meant to be what happens if you develop something, a type of lesion on the skin or a growth? It's elevated. It's not meant to be there. That's ace. The person is not meant to be hoarding and arrogant. <coughs> if you want to be that, you become sapachas. You become secondary. Sapachas means tofil. He says, Lufichoch, second column, about ten lines down. Ha'odom she'ish bogasa ruach. Person he ingratiates himself or he elevates himself, inflates himself more than he's meant to. Kol davashet tosefes who topel laacher lakachu mismait lebsof shkol davashet tefelo mismait anything which is secondary, which is not meant to be there. <coughs> Has no 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 existence, no value. Veloshu mismait rakshu yorid lagenim. What does it mean mismait? He goes to genim. Shemagia elav haeder ragomu hagenim. What's genim? We speak about void, vacuum, something which has no value whatsoever. Kach omer per kamet avoruzora omer aboshi or kol amisyoyer no for lagenim. A person who acts like a balgaiva. He elevates himself. He inflates himself. He falls into Ganon. What's Yisyar? Yisyar means Gaiva. Shnema Zaid Yohir. Late Shmo. The Zaid Yohir. Late Shmo. He's a let's. He's a deprecator. Oseh Ve'ever Azodo Ve'ever Elo Ganon. He will, he will be, he's creating Ebra Zodom. Ebra, he says. Zodom, Tichsiv Yom Ebra Sayom, Ahu Adkan. Dovzi Adua Boror Betach. Hear this? All these, he says, it's known, it's clear, and it's certain. Shame Dover Shinikro Shaol, Gemar Gehenim. When we speak about the depths, the grave, the, the lowest level, Show a person's going into the the depths of whatever it may be. That's Gehenim Shnekra. Shnekra Shol Tachdus. The Gemara says never in the seven levels to Gehenim. The lowest level of Gehenim is called Shol Tachdus. Kasheru Yor Umagdi Atzmo Biyoser. If a person elevates himself and ingratiates himself, inflates himself more than he should, Roy Elof Ahepech Shirot Shol Mato. You know they say the bigger they are, the poorer they get. Right. How do they fall? So the higher you up, you fall. V'zeu shoma kamisyan nofu begenim kloma ashu magdia atzmo shein dov is a roi lekach. Roi lekach v'shpoto shipol matu hu ashol. Therefore, he falls to the lowest level, which is the great, which is the lowest level of genim. Odish b'zeh of a muflog. There's another concept here. Kihu ashe yor roi hu agenim b'frat. A person who's arrogant, who's haughty. He has relevance to Gehenim specifically. Why? Ki ayor hu balmum. Kamo shemarno lemalo ki atosepes hu chesoron. Right? What if you inflate yourself? That's the reason why it manifests itself as saras. It's, it's a lesion that grows. Like uh, something which is not supposed to be there. So what is that? That's called tosepes. Tosepes, we say, kol de choses yeser. Right? The person has next to a limb is, is considered a traitor, an animal. Has an extra lobe on the lung, the animal's a traitor. Why? Because whatever is more is less. So to is chosorim. Um achashu chosor roi shivol begenim. Shagenim u chosim. What does genim represent? It represents the vacuum, the deficiency. Zeinin hagenim mo shizbar kam apomi. The dover zev shizbar be nisivol leitzonis. Says he will discuss this in the nisivol leitzonis. He has a whole area of what speaking about the. The negative characteristic of deprecation. Ben kamokum laharich. Hamido habaguna hazos perk dalit. He says this. 
detestable characteristic, which is Gaiva. The characteristic of Gaiva being haughty, Balamida Zos Yotzim in Aseva. He's not, he's, he's out of order. Not, you know, famous little person says, you're out of order. You're supposed to behave a certain way. You behave as an arrogant, haughty person. You're out of order. Mashkos per kegla rufa omre mori. Hai man dior avalin shebeisei lo miskabel. This is a person who's arrogant and haughty. Even his family rejects him. They're not, they reject him. Shenemar. Give your lo yinve. The person whose yoy was a balgaiva lo yinve. Nove is his, even his own domicile. Even with his own family, he's not accepted. Shinema afilu benove shelo lo miskayim. Zem neisha bal hamida zos begaivosa in mshutif la acher hu nivdol me acher. What is a self-centered person? It's only about him. And it's, his family picks it up. You know, it's interesting. There's a this last week's parsha, very fundamental Sikorno. Moshe Rabbeinu says, "Hakadosh Baruch Hu, you know, I've been like a nursemaid to them." This is what he says when they they question him, and he says, "You know, we want meat." And they start to complain, and he says to uh, Hashem that unless you provide mm-hmm. people to share the burden, take me. I want to be taken. This is one before the, the disaster happened, that whoever ate him the slug died. Because otherwise, it, it indicates he failed. Therefore, I want you to sh- to distribute my ability with others that you should be able to bear the burden. So he says something phenomenal. This is, for, this is a fundamental principle. He says, children in a family, he says, the words he says, they have chuluke deos. Everybody has an eye of their own. Each child has an eye of their own. So why do they accept the father's position, although they may see it differently, because they know the father is dedicated to them, and whatever he does, he does because he believes it's truly in their best interest. Agree or disagree? So if they disagree to a degree, they'd explain to the father that why he's making a mistake. Okay, but let's say the father he sticks, he stays with his position. But what one thing they know. They know and they trust him that whatever he does is in their best interest. He'll do anything because it's in their best interest. That's the power, and that's what a father represents. What's a leader? Leadership. A leadership, the leader is dedicated to the people, and because at a level of dedication, they trust him. And because they trust him, therefore, he's an effective leader. What happens if they stop trusting him? And they question him. Mm-hmm. So he's then, then he's, he has no value in it. So Moshe is saying to Hashem, they, they no longer trust me. If they question me every step of the way, they no longer trust me. So therefore, I'm totally obsolete. I have no value. I'm, I have no value as a leader. Because everybody has an, a, an idea and a mind of their own. Do it differently. So why do they submit to the leader? Because they have trust in the leader that based on his ability and his dedication to them and his interest, that it's only in their best interest, therefore, he does for them. But if that they question they question that, that I have my own ulterior motive, then I have no value. Therefore, unless you have, I'm able to share, share the burden with others, take me. That's how the Sikorni explains it. The person is a Balgaiva, and the children understand it's not us, it's him. And it's only, we're only the, the setting for him to express his, his, his self-centeredness. And it's only him, it's not us. So what? The family is going to reject him. Why does the family accept the father only because he, they, they trust and they believe he's truly dedicated to them? When they say it's him, it's not them, then they're out of there. Therefore, it says a person who's truly a Balgai Vahori, ultimately the family will reject him. To be continued. There's so many levels of No, we're talking about that. Nobody's perfect. But basically, you know, you're on a. You're on a on a, on in a direction. This, this we're talking about a person who's truly, fully self-absorbed in himself. It's him and nobody else. You know, there's an expression he reeks from from, from arrogance. It's that that level. But even but, but even lower than that, even lower level than that, still, still a problem. Okay. Everything's 
happy medium. You know, he's not ha ha he has not had a day yet. You want to know some of the truth? The person who's really haughty himself, his, pick, his kids pick up the same characteristic. So they're into themselves. <laughs> you think they're going to submit to you like you submit to no one? They're not submitting to you, right? So it's a really a reflection of the, of, the, of the father's behavior. The father's humble. The kids are humble. So they're humble. You know, nobody's perfect. We accept it. And we see you're special. But if you're self-absorbed, so they, they're self-absorbed. We're self-absorbed, so we have our own ideas. But I'm saying even this is even more than that. It's even the, the children themselves, the way they see the father, because the way he taught them, therefore they reject the father, as the father rejects everyone else, because of his self-centeredness.